You're watching Vince's Vox Pops. Why do you love gymnastics? It keeps me fit and it's a lot of fun. It's a unique sport and you get to hang out with your friends. Because it's open for everyone. I love it because of all my friends and having fun in the competition. We're now watching the balance routines and we have Zoe and Jessica. Bruce, <coughs> can you just tell us the difference between the balance dynamic and combo routines? Sure. The the balance routine is showing the the strength and uh, static shapes of of any of our gymnastic sports. So you can see it's it's really a simple pike lever, but we put it on feet. Uh, a handstand is done on hands rather than done on a floor on an apparatus. So the thing that the judges look for is stability and the hold time. That there's there's very few wobbles, and you can see there the girls are really quite stable, and it's held for a nice clean three seconds. Yeah. Any of the individuals in a balanced routine are also around that static shape or also showing a flexibility. Mm -hmm. Dynamic, which we saw early in the day, is all about height and flight. And that's where we see our rotations. We see kids getting in the air, doing multiple somersaults or multiple twists in the higher levels, and then ending up with a nice, clean, controlled landing. The idea of acrobatics is basically the landing should be able to be done almost without support. But uh, with, with the height some of these kids are coming from, that extra hand is absolutely fantastic. Uh, so now we have a trio with um, Morgan, Steph and Holly. Yep, Morgan and Steph, Holly, they, uh, they haven't been a trio for that long. They work up at the Hillsville Gymnastics Centre. Once again, doing a balance routine. You can see this is a handstand again. So we've seen handstands in some different shapes today. So because our sport has pairs and trios, those handstands are done in different places, different shapes. So it, it does create that large variance in the way the sport can actually look. One of the nice things is our handstands don't always have to be legs together, toes pointed. We can do it in almost any shape. And, something and that looks fun. <laughs> something that looks fun, something that uh, gets higher value as well, which is yeah. really cool. A combined routine is also showing then the, the a mix of balance and dynamic skills. Mm -hmm. So in the one routine, we have both. All right, so Lauren and Tori here are doing a different, like you said, a different type of handstand there. A different type of handstand and also in a different place. Now we're up on what we call high hands. These girls are also competing in, in one of the international categories, 11 to 16, and they're actually going to be travelling overseas later this year to compete in Britain to gain extra experience. Yep. And their aim is to go to a world championship at some stage. So they train locally in Melbourne, obviously. Um, haven't been training together that long, but are really dedicated. So we wish them the best of luck as well. They look like a really fantastic duo and they've got it going on. They have got it going on. They did a great job up at Nationals. It was a great experience for them for the first time out at this competition. But you can see just their entry and exit of skills. It's, it's really clean, straight up there, no shuffles. It looks effortless. They've got those big smiles on their faces to make it look easy. Well held skill, beautiful time, and also dance really well together to make it pretty. Coach's Corner. We're here with Bruce from Nunawading Gymnastics. Bruce, how long have you been coaching Acro for? Well, I've been coaching now for about 16 years, and uh, I hate to say it, but I was actually did it for a few years before that as a, as a competitor, so, but uh, yeah, I really enjoyed the sport, so I wanted to be able to put something back and Very start good. on the coaching side. And how do you prepare an athlete for a competition like this? I think it's like a lot of sports, you're trying to make sure that the kids are um, got their, their basics in place first and with their skills and then as the competition draws closer because acrobatics is very much a performance based sport you start trying to put those skills that they've learned into that performance so it's one one complete piece of, uh, of of art almost i think so excellent and what is the youngest or who is the youngest sort of athlete in acro we're pretty lucky we've got a couple of eight-year-olds in our squad who are, are just really talented little kids and i think personality is bigger than anyone else in the squad and so the oldest gymnast would sort of um, be around we've got some kids who are around that mid-20s sort of thing um, who uh, you know who've grown up through a the sport? They've been the little tops and that sort of thing, and then come back and gone and come back and gone. And I'm, I think that's one of the nice parts of the sports that if you get those um, basics in there, um, even at a high level, you can sort of pop in and out of the sport a little bit. You're not sort of gone and um, you know too old or wrong shape or something like that. It's one of the beauties of our sport. So. And so, what are the future goals for the club? Um, we're actually growing a little bit at the moment. We've uh, got almost 40 kids in our acrobatic squad. Uh, National Clubs is in Perth in about six weeks, yep. uh, which we're now building for, which will be really exciting. And then obviously getting ready for again for Nationals, which will be about mid next year, so. Excellent, well, good luck and thanks. Thank you very much. 
Why do you love aerobics? Uh, it's spectacular. Because I get to be with all my friends and it keeps me active and fit. It's just a good way to have fun, I reckon. Yeah, and a really good way to keep fit. <laughs> So we're here at the Aerobics Championships and I have Caitlin Shipsides commentating with me today. Hi Minette, lovely to see you. Our first competitors here today are Mia and Julia from the Level 4 competition. Yes Minette, these girls are performing as a senior pair and are our new Victorian champions for that age group. So well done girls. You'll see here they're performing four high leg kicks consecutively. This is one of the three compulsory movements. We see our compulsory movements performed by level two all the way through to level seven athletes. These are four high leg kicks, which we just saw, four jumping jacks and four push-ups, which are coming up very soon in this routine. It's very important that these movements are well executed as this can make or break a routine. And it seems there's also lots of dance elements. Is artistry a big part of the routine that the judges are looking for? Artistry is a huge part of aerobic gymnastics. What the judges really want to see is that people are going out there, having a great time. You'll just see that they point at each other, so that's good interaction between the pairs. Mm -hmm. So now we have the rebound um, aero dance group. And we've got five girls here. Is there a number of girls required to make an aerodance team? Aerodance was introduced in 2011 and requires teams between five and 10. And the unique thing about aerodance is that girls across all different levels are able to come in together to form a group. So it means that you can really, you know, your club, team bonding, girls across all levels. Yeah, and so I can see that they're going outside of the white line for Aero dance group teams, are they allowed to use more of the area? Yes, the black line is a 10 by 10 metre square, which aero dance are encouraged to utilise, like the artistry we were talking about before. Travelling is a very large part of artistry. The judges want to see groups as well as individuals utilising the full space. Okay, great. Uh, so now we've got another aero sport all stars and a bigger team. So just as you mentioned, between five and ten girls here, does it get more difficult when there's more girls in a team? I think it does. It's more difficult to have a larger number of people in time with each other. But at the same time, when it's all put together, I think large groups can look very, very effective. There's a lot of things you can do in terms of space, cannons and so on. Yeah, these girls look really good and have an interesting choice of um, leotards here as well. Yes, the aerodance is unique again in the way that they don't have to wear a one-piece leotard. They can wear a bit more jazzy outfits. They're encouraged to, you know, have a bit of fun with what they're doing. Up next, we have the 2013 Aerobics Victorian Championship. Kenji Fushihara tells us his daily routines and we have all the medal highlights. 